alleged child predator reportedly posing as a teen on social media. And law officers say what happened next should terrify every parent. News 4's Amaya War joins us now with details. Amaya. Jolene Kevin, the investigation goes back to last summer when investigators say the man allegedly used social media apps pretending to be a teenage boy in order to lure his victims. He's now charged with raping one girl and investigators are worried there could be more victims. What we're urging moms and dads to do is to make sure that you know exactly who your kids are talking to online. The Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office received a disturbing phone call from Yukon Police Department back in August. A mother had found out that her young daughter was possibly talking to a 23, 24 year old man. That man, 24 year old Holden Clayton, had been posing as a 13 year old boy on social media apps. According to court documents, the 13-year-old girl had been reported as a runaway. Police officers conducted a traffic stop and found the girl in the car with Clayton. He admitted to having sex with this 13-year-old girl. Investigators originally thought Clayton and the underage teen had sex in Oklahoma City. However, documents say after speaking with the teen, investigators realized the alleged act actually happened in Logan County. We were contacted by the Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office. They were continuing an investigation of an alleged rape. During that uh, investigation, we also found child pornography digitally on uh, the suspect's phone. Um, those images included videos and still pictures. Clayton is now being charged with first degree rape and possession of child pornography. It's, they're disturbing videos to see. It's, it's hard to imagine that uh, as a parent that uh, I would, it's not easy to look at children that way. If his name rings a bell, please feel free to give us a call. Uh, let us have that information. You know, don't be afraid to speak up. Clayton also faces a rape charge in Comanche County, but he was released on bond and must wear an ankle monitor. We've learned his bond has been raised in Logan County with similar conditions, and a preliminary hearing is set for September.